Hey everyone, it's Ali and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going over five discontinued fragrances that I think are definitely worth checking out. Um, these are five fragrances in my collection that I feel aren't talked about as much. They are all discontinued. That's the only downside to this list. But if you can find them for a relatively good price, I think they're definitely worth the money. I have five amazing options that I really cherish in my collection and I think are really underrated hidden gems. Um, some of them a little bit more well known than others, but I think I have a solid list of five here that I really want to talk about that really are just really good. And like I said, if you can find these particular five for a good price online, I say go for it. Um, you can find these online. They're not extremely hard to find. Um, yeah, all you have to do is check places like Mercari, Google, sometimes Fragrance X or Fragrance Net has them. Um, definitely just look around, especially if you're interested in any of these five that we're going to be going over today. But the first one that I'm going to be going over is one that was recently reformulated, and this is the formulation right before the new one, and it is Miss Dior. Um, for those of you that know, Miss Dior was just recently redone. It's now a very rose dominant sweet fragrance. Um, but I really did enjoy the formulation before the new one. I honestly wish they would have kept this formulation. I think it's really interesting and really nice. Um, it has sort of a vintagey feel. I think this one also has rose. I think there's bergamot and rosewood and pepper and vanilla. But this has almost a vintage feel but with a modern twist. I really like it. There's something really resinousy about this formulation. It's a little powdery, a little balsamic. It's not your typical designer fragrance. It really does stand out in my opinion, and I really do like this slightly powdery, vintagey, balsamic um, sort of DNA that this has. It's really, really beautiful. Honestly, I feel like this is really signature scent worthy. It's quite addictive the more you wear it. This wasn't a love at first sight, or not love at first sight, a love at first sniff when I first put my nose to it. I was kind of like, oh, interesting, nothing too special. But the more I wore it, the more sophisticated, the more beautiful, the more better it got on my skin. I really like this one. It's a really beautiful, slightly powdery, deep balsamic rose fragrance that I think really should have never been reformulated. I mean, if you love the new Miss Dior formulation, more power to you. I just think they really let go of something special here and I really did like this one. And I'm kind of sad that they redid the fragrance and completely changed it up. But if you can get your hands on this, you can definitely source bottles of this on Mercari, like I said. You can probably check eBay. Um, it's still relatively inexpensive and I would definitely grab them before they get marked up to like $200 or $300 because people definitely be crazy like that when it comes to discontinued fragrances. Like I said, check this one out. It's really, really beautiful and it's the formulation right before the new one that released I think in 2020 or 2021. Can't really remember. But now it has a ribbon instead of the like little metal bow. Um, and yeah. Miss Dior is my first pick. The next one that I'm going to talk about is one that I am obsessed with. It is Tender Romance by Ralph Lauren. I've had this bottle for freaking ever. I try to use it sparingly because of how much I cherish this bottle and I love the fragrance inside. If you love fruity vanilla fragrances, then do yourself a favor and get this one. It's the best hands down in my opinion fruity vanilla fragrance on the market um well was on the market because it is discontinued but this is just stunning you guys this is a fruity vanilla done perfectly right you've got pear ginger bergamot you've got white magnolia lily of the valley jasmine benzoin cashmere wood and musk and you guys this is literally heavenly this is so feminine so dainty there's something so Bubble gummy fun. The pear in this is really juicy. The bergamot adds this burst of brightness. Those florals work so harmoniously with the vanilla and the benzoin in this fragrance. And you have such a lovely musk. Like this is next level when it comes to a fruity vanilla fragrance. People tend to think fruity vanilla fragrances are very boring, bland, overdone. And I totally get that. But when it comes to fruity vanilla fragrances, 
this one in that category I think is top tier and if you are into those kinds of fragrances then do yourself a favor and source a bottle of Tender Romance by Ralph Lauren. This is such an underrated hidden gem, ultra compliment getter, ultra beautiful. I love this so so much and honestly like I'll probably be sourcing another bottle soon because this is only going to get harder and harder to find you definitely have scalpers that are selling bottles for ridiculous amounts so if you could get your hands on this one get your hands on this one beautiful beautiful fragrance and i honestly wish they would have never discontinued this one at all i truly adore and love this fragrance the next one that i'm going to be talking about is one from elizabeth and james for those of you who don't know elizabeth and james was a company that was started by um, mary kate and ashley olson they released a line of fragrances I've talked about their fragrances in the past, I've done dedicated videos, but there is one in particular that I think is like such a shame that like it's not going to come back. Um, I think the whole line of their fragrances is like going kaputs, which makes me really sad because there are some amazing ones in that line. But this is Nirvana Amethyst, the one that comes in the purple bottle. Aside from the bottle being like super bougie extra and like fun, I really love their packaging. Nirvana Amethyst is one of the most beautiful, affordable tobacco fragrances you can probably get your hands on. This is stunning, you guys. Tobacco, honeysuckle, you've got cedar and spices and that is it. But this smells so freaking good. It smells so expensive, so beautiful. It almost gives me like a slight pencil shaving vibe, especially in the opening. But as it settles on the skin, that tobacco becomes really smooth and it almost has a tobacco-y, cedary type of feel to it, but it's so smooth and really rounded out by that honeysuckle note. The honeysuckle adds an unexpected sweetness that you almost don't expect with a tobacco fragrance, but it plays really beautifully with that cedar and the spices. Absolutely stunning, such an easy to wear tobacco, especially if you're wanting to get into more tobacco fragrances. You guys, this is a hidden gem right here. Get your hands on this one if you haven't already. Trust me, it is definitely worth the coin. And it's not that expensive, especially right now. You can find these for pretty inexpensive. I think they were still on Fragrance X last I checked. And you can find them on Mercari as well. Definitely get your hands on this one if you can. Like I said, so, so good. Beautiful, beautiful tobacco fragrance. I absolutely love this one by Elizabeth and James. There's a few from Elizabeth and James that I could have added onto this list that I really, really love. Um, Y'all know I love black, like Nirvana black is so good to me. The opening, OP, the opening is a little weird in the beginning, but like you guys, it's so freaking good. So, so good. Um, the next one that I'm gonna talk about is one from Narciso Rodriguez. This is one that I really do love. I think it is a beautiful, um, interpretation, not interpretation, but like a beautiful flanker to um, Narciso Rodriguez for her. And this is Narciso Rodriguez for her L'Absolute. This is stunning, you guys. If you are a fan of the original Narciso Rodriguez, the EDT, um, this is basically that, but with a heaping dose of tuberose. This is a tuberose bomb that still maintains that sort of abstract, um, sort of musky feel that the original Narciso Rodriguez had. I feel like if Narciso Rodriguez was like the um, office version of a fragrance, this would be its more like femme fatale nighttime little black dress version because of that heaping dose of tuberose. It's a little narcotic, kind of heady, but just so, so good. It has this really beautiful sweetness. Like I said, it still maintains that Narciso Rodriguez DNA, that sort of abstract musky DNA, but it pairs so beautifully with this heaping do dose of tuberose. It's really, really beautiful, honestly, and I really like this, especially for nighttime or going out. There's something just really sexy. It's like really musky, a little bit dirty. You've got sandalwood, amber, patchouli, musk, that jasmine and tuberose. There's a little slightly clean feel because of the jasmine, but I really, like I said, what I love about it is that tuberose. It really makes this fragrance stand out and stand on its own as something unique and really interesting. And I really like it and I'm really sad they discontinued this one, but you could still find it online. Um, definitely source a bottle if this is one that you're interested in getting. 
And like I said, if you're a fan of Narciso Rodriguez for her, the EDT, but wanted a little bit more variety, I think this is a beautiful addition and honestly one worth checking out for sure. And that is L'Absolute by Narciso Rodriguez. The last one that I'm going to be talking about is one of my favorite fragrances. And this one is from Nest Fragrances and I've talked about this one in the past. And this one is called Passiflora. One of my favorite genres of fragrance is green and photorealistic fragrances. Especially lately, I feel like this year is going to be the year that I get even more into green, um, slightly photorealistic fragrances. I've been really into smelling like a flower. There is something really beautiful and ethereal about being able to smell like a flower, you know? Like when a fragrance can capture the essence of a flower or a plant and it's so realistic that it almost smells like you are part of that plant, I think there's such a beautiful art form and just such a beautiful thing to be able to capture in a fragrance like and this captures the smell of a flower so freaking beautifully you have green notes you have passion flower hyacinth and lily of the valley and this literally smells like straight up passion flowers if you've ever smelt passion flowers they're green smelling very floral they have a slightly dusty vibe but like a sweet dusty vibe you guys, this is ridiculously stunning. I'm so familiar with the smell of passion flower. There was um, a passion flower like bush that sort of vined out through my high school. And I remember walking by that bush all the time because I had to cut through the parking lot where this bush was located. And the smell of it was just so intoxicating and so beautiful. This has that same quality as a passion flower and it's very photorealistic in my opinion. If you love green fragrances, if you love floral fragrances, and you want to smell like a flower, do yourself a favor, get this one in your arsenal because, oh my God, does this smell like a freaking flower? And it's so true to the flower it's trying to represent. This is literally stunning. I get a sort of slightly aquatic green vibe from this. It almost feels like passion flowers that have been rained on. It's really, really beautiful. And it's stunning, especially in summer and spring, this fragrance just shines. I try not to use too much of it. Um, I use it sparingly just because it's so beautiful to me um, and such a unique fragrance. I do use it quite a bit though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just very sparing when I use it. But what I love about this is this one lasts a really long time, so I don't have to use a ton in order to get good use out of it. But yeah, definitely check this one out if you can find it. I've seen this one go on eBay. Um, and I don't think it's like ridiculously marked up right now. So if you're interested in trying this one out, definitely source yourself a bottle, especially if you like photorealistic green fragrances that smell just like flowers and stems. Absolutely beautiful and one that is top tier for its category in fragrance. I really love this one, you guys. And yeah, that is the five discontinued fragrances I wanted to talk about. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want like a part two or something, definitely let me know down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. I probably won't link any of the fragrances just because since they are discontinued, um, I don't want to go on the hunt all over again. But definitely, like I said, if you're interested in any of these, check places like Mercari, check eBay, check, check FragranceNet, check FragranceX, places like those you'll probably have good luck trying to source some of these bottles out. But till next time, you guys, I will catch you in the next video. Bye.